Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam ala Rasulullah. Wa ala ali wa sabi ajma'in amma abad. A'udhu billahi mina shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi shraha li sadri. Wa yasiri li amri. Wa halul uqdata min lisani yafkohu kawli. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. The topic of today's talk is Quran, the impact on humanity. What the Quran has mentioned and through the verses of the Quran, what the Muslims has implemented in our daily life. It is a very long series that we are doing and a very important series that we are doing. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 23 and 24, Allah says, If you are in doubt as to what we have revealed to our servant, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from time to time, produce a surah somewhere similar to it. And call helpers and witnesses if there are anyone besides Allah if you doubt about truth. For in lam taf'alu, and if you cannot, wa lam taf'alu, of a surety you cannot, fattakunnar allati wa kudu hannasa wal hijara, u'iddat lil kafirin, fear the fire, whose fuel is man and stone, which is prepared for those who reject faith. Here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, is challenging the humankind that if you are in doubt about the Quran, the last and final revelation, try and produce somewhere similar to the Quran. Not exactly, but something similar to it. And call helpers, witnesses, if there are anyone besides Allah, if you doubt about the truth. This is very important verse of the Quran. In the early 10th centuries, there were a town known as Ghana. This town was under a rule of a city called Kumbisali. And the town Ghana is a marketplace where people come from different parts of the world. In the early centuries, this town was well known because all people come from different continents and they come to this town. And it was very known as a trade center. And the main thing that they do trade there was gold. So Ghana was known as gold center. The people of Ghana and the people around the area at that time, that place, even from different parts of the area, they have a strange festival that they used to celebrate every year. And people come from Malian Empire, people come from Papua Guinea, and they all come together to a town called Ghana to do this festival. And this festival was a festival where idol worshippers, those who worship sculpture, those who are magicians, witch doctors, and all these magicians, they come and they showcase their powers in front of people. And some people even can make rainfall. Some can showcase power that you will see that a dead person, they will kill someone and they will resurrect the person. This was what they do. But the 
side of the story is that after all this what they do is that every group that will come to show their powers they have to bring along with them a virgin girl a lady who has not known a man that was a young lady will come along with them and the lady after they lose they have to give the lady to the people who win so this was the place a center to showcase a power whoever win will have a prize and the prize will be a woman that has not known a man and if i come if there are 10 group who come everyone will bring a lady who has not known a man and the winner at the end of the day will take this all the 10 girls along with their group it was somehow not a good news for a young ladies in the community so when the muslims also approach the city they do business and they found out that the young ladies are being harassed and being used as a price for a winner of those to to show powers and the winner will have a woman who has not known a man a virgin girl this is very important the muslims went there they do business they do trade gold and many other trading but when they found out this issue they report it to the ulamas the sheikh the mashach and the alims and they took this matter very serious how to rescue a young lady from this oppressed ideology and this was as known as jahilinchi that the day of ignorant where people has no knowledge about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where they practice a system where they will have to use a young ladies as a rituals and many other things this was what is going on so the muslims they spread this message across the muslim world and this message get to even iraq that is baghdad at the time and the people of baghdad heard this message there was one sheikh his name is sheikh mufti ibn sahar he was well known as invent inventor and he was very good sheikh he was mufti and this message got to him he was reading the quran and he brought a very important idea and he said that if you read the quran in surah to taha chapter 20 verse number 60 going he was speaking about moses peace be upon him and pharaoh and the magicians how the magicians show their powers and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also used moses peace be upon him to encounter them and to win their magic tricks so this was his idea but what he picked from this thing was that if you read Surah to Taha chapter 20 verse number 69, it says that they throw a stick and the stick turned to a snake. And even Moses threw a stick and the stick turned into a snake. Peace be upon him. So when he has some idea that an object is the way to encounter all these magic tricks that they are showcased 
at a place known as Ghana. So they prepare and he invented a very important invention that we use today known as mirror. The mirror that we use today was invented to encounter those magicians. So they prepare the mirror and when the day approach and the magicians, the ideal worshippers, they were showcasing their powers in Ghana. And when they were doing in their process of showcasing their powers, the Muslim did not speak, they did not recite Quran as many of us may think that reciting Quran or doing zikr, mentioning the name of Allah will be the solution. But in this case, a mirror was invented to encounter the magicians, the idol worshippers in the city Ghana. So when they approach there and they, they show the mirror and when the idol worshippers, when they found out that they have seen a miracle of miracle which they have not seen before because besides you showcasing your powers when they throw they show you the mirror you see yourself inside it means so the people don't understand whether uh, it was something that they have captured them they want to kill them so the muslims want to kill them so what the Muslims do, did was that they show only a mirror and all those who were showing powers, all the idol worshippers, all of them, they ran away from that festival and they disappeared immediately. They saw the mirror because the mirror seems to them that like they have been captured by the Muslims and that it was the day that a black people when we say black black besides Bilal the first person who did Azan in the world Bilal Rabba besides him that was the day that a black people accepted Islam in thousands and thousands and thousands that was the day that according to some people that from that day that we have a majority of Muslims in West Africa today from that day because that was the day that all the idol worshipped the magicians they fall and Alhamdulillah Islam always won every part of argument so the mirror that we use today in our homes in our communities the mirror that we use was invented to encounter the magicians the ideal worshippers those who showcase their powers in front of people so that they can see a miracle of miracle and alhamdulillah indeed they saw a miracle of miracle and all of them disappear and people accepted Islam from that day where Alhamdulillah Islam spread throughout the African continent especially West Africa the black people accepted Islam Alhamdulillah Allah says in the Quran in no less than three different places in Surah to Tawbah chapter 9 verse number 33 Surah to Fatah chapter 48 verse number 28 as well as Surah to Saf chapter 61 verse number 9 Allah says huwa allazi arsalahu rasulahu bil huda wa din al haqq liyudhirihu ala din kulli wa law kalih al mushrikun wa kafa billahi shahida it is Allah who has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth so that it will prevail, it will overcome all other way of life. How much the unbelievers don't like it. And enough is Allah is the witness. 
We are doing this series, Quran, the impact on humanity. What the Quran mentioned and through the verses of the Quran, what the Muslims has implemented in our daily life. It's a very long series. It's a very important series that we are doing. Alhamdulillah, you can follow us, YouTube, Islamic Youth Foundation. Like, subscribe and share. Facebook, Islamic Youth Foundation. Instagram Foundation Islamic Youth and WhatsApp Telegram WhatsApp number and Telegram the number is it was WhatsApp group plus three nine three five one one nine one six six seven five Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi wa nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi my name is Abdul Malik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.